The next cowl pattern in the Beyond the Double collection is the Tower Cowl. And this cowl is a very simple lace stitch created with chains and double crochet. And this cowl is crocheted out of Nipix Brabbit in the Plummy Speckle colorway. And I'm going to show you how to do this stitch. So this pattern starts out like the others. Um, we chain and we do a row of single crochet just to start us off. And it looks a bit wider than all the others, but the nature of the lace stitch does make it um, come in a little bit. So to I did our setup row. Um, I did the first setup row with the single crochets, and now the second setup row is a right side row, and it starts off with our central, our um, CSS, our chainless starting stitch. So I'm going to extend that first loop a little bit, and holding that loop down with our index finger, I'm going to yarn over and work a double crochet. That is our chainless starting stitch. And now the pattern repeat to the end of this row is chain one, skip one, so we're gonna skip that next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna do that all the way across. We're gonna chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. And just repeat that to end. So I've completed both of my setup rows now, and now we're on to the cowl patterning. So we're going to turn our work, and we're going to start this row with a chainless starting stitch again. Do that very first stitch. So now we start with row one, the pattern repeat and we have a double crochet in this chain one space first. So we're just going to go right in that chain one space. And the pattern repeat is chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next chain one space. I'm going to do this to the last two stitches of the row. So I'm going to chain one, I'm going to skip this stitch, you see this is a the stitch from the last row. I'm going to skip it, we're going to go into the next chain one space. I have to yarn over. So you see we are offsetting our lace holes here. So chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the chain one space. We're going to do this to the last two stitches of the row. Okay, we are at the last two stitches of the row. Now we have the last two stitches of the row, they look like we have this double crochet here. We have a chain one gap, and then we have our, our S a CSS, our chainless starting stitch. So that is our last two stitches, and then there is a chain one space in between. And so what we do for the last uh, stitch to end this row, we're gonna chain one, we're gonna skip one, and we're gonna double crochet in this chain one space. We're going to skip this stitch and go in that chain one space just like we did before. And then to finish off the row we're just going to do a double crochet in this um, chainless starting stitch. Just a regular old double crochet. And you have to kind of work your hook in there just to make sure it tightens up that stitch a little bit. And now we have completed our first row of the pattern. And you can see our sides are symmetrical. We have two double crochets over here and two double crochets over here. And now we're ready to work the next row. So we're going to turn our work. And row two, we're going to do another chainless starting stitch. And the repeat for this row is chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next chain one space. So we're going to chain one, skip this stitch, and just double crochet in the chain one space. Once again, offsetting our pattern. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the chain one space.
and we just do this to the end of this row. We are at the last uh, two stitches of the row, and so what we do is we chain one, um, we skip the next stitch, and we're going to chain to do our double crochet into the top of our chainless starting stitch. So we're just going to skip this stitch. We're not going to work in between these two stitches. We're going to work into the top of our first stitch of the last row, our chainless starting stitch. Just going to put our hook in there. And that finishes up our row and gives us this nice clean edge that matches the other side. And that is the pattern repeat for the tower cowl.